right, starting out the show, we got we to gotta show some love. Say congratulations to the greatest shooter of all time, who is Steph Curry. Last night in the Garden, he passed Ray Allen for the most three-pointers made all time and career. And it's crazy because I, I can distinctly remember when Ray Allen passed Reggie Miller. Like, that happened in, I want to say, 2011. It was a game in February. I remember reading earlier today, but it was in 2011 when he passed Reggie Miller. And I remember thinking at the time, I'm like, yo, this is crazy. I don't really know if anybody else going to pass this because there wasn't really nobody close to Ray. At the time he was passing that, wasn't anybody doing what Ray Allen was doing besides Ray Allen for the longevity that he was doing it. And then here come along Steph Curry, absolutely changed the game, changed the way people look at the three-point shot, changed the way people look at analytics in general. And I was just... People say the mid-range game is dead. In my opinion, it's really not. We can have a conversation about that at a later day. But for a while there, people were saying the mid-range game is dead. And it really did evolve the game. And now you got to pick player, players like him, um, Dame when he's playing right, James Harden when he's playing right. You got to pick up players like that at half court now because they just really extended their range that far. And it's just really crazy. And, you know, shout out to Steph for being legitimately the greatest shooter of all time. What's even crazier about him breaking that record is the fact that he's still playing. And honestly, if you ask me, he's got like at least three more years of playing at this level. And then even if he does regress and starts to take on a more of a, a shooter role, we've seen old shooters hang around the league a long time. And Steph could high key continue to just run around at the age of 40 if he wanted to and shoot 39, 38, 40 percent from three on a team and being like a third, fourth option and just keep shooting three. So. I watched, um, I seen on Twitter, I seen it circulating a lot today on Twitter, on YouTube. I, I'm always watching and then taking basketball content, NBA content. And a lot of people have basically broke it down to say that Steph could low key, by the time his career is all said and done, get like 3,500, 4,000 threes in his career. Do you think someone else has break their record? If so, who? Uh, William Paris, thank you for pulling up. Um, let me get that in a second. That's... I think someone else could break Ray Allen's record. Like, I think James, James Harden is going to pass Reggie Miller's record this season. And then probably next season or the season after that, he's going to pass where Ray Allen's number is. But unless something catastrophic happens and knock on wood, I don't wish that on any NBA player. Unless something catastrophic happens to Steph Curry, I don't think anybody's touching his record. At least probably not in the next 10, 15, 20 years. Like, it's only been 10 years since Ray Allen's, Ray Allen broke Reggie's record, and then now we got Steph. But Steph is such, like, an anomaly, such a generation, literal generational talent that I don't think anyone is going to pass his number. Because Steph, legit, like I was saying earlier, Steph has the opportunity to literally push this number to 3,500, 4,000 made threes. And I don't, I, I don't see anybody doing that. It's going to take, like I said, 10, 15, 20 years from now where the new generation are watching Steph so much and you got somebody who's really dialed in and you got some five-year-old somewhere right now shooting a thousand threes a day. Like that's the type of player it's going to take to beat Steph because he's just got what I call God-given talent. I mean, yes, he don't get that twisted. He's worked on his three more than probably anybody else in history, but I don't, I don't see anybody passing his record. Jason McCourtney, um, I don't think Clay would just because he, he plays with Steph. And Steph's always going to be the number one option on that team. So as long as them two are together, that's going to be the number one option. So it, when you think about that three-point record, it was one of those records that, like, growing up, I don't know if I thought could be broken. You know, I don't think I thought that record had the opportunity to be broken. I looked at that record like people looked at Kareem's scoring record and I mean, believe it or not, there's NBA minds out there who have done the math and breaking it down that it's potential for LeBron James, if he stays healthy over the next like three, four ish seasons, that could come close to breaking Kareem's uh, all time scoring record if he could sustain like 25 points a game. A lot of NBA nerd number stuff, but I just think it's really dope. I wanted to give him his flowers at the top of the show. And now let's get into a couple of things. We're going to open up the phone lines.